welcome back to the final day of End of the World Month on Random Horror. So I thought to review this, it's end this End of the World theme month, I thought I would review The Cabin in the Woods, uh, written by Joss Whedon and um, Drew Goddard and directed by Drew Goddard, starring Kristen Connolly, Chris Hemsworth, Anne Hutchinson, um, Frank Kranz, Jesse Williams, Richie Jenkins, and Bradley Whitford. Whitford. So this is a supernatural sci-fi comedy horror uh, about a group of friends that you know go to this remote cabin in the woods, and basically this has every single horror cliche you can think of in this, and it's looking at that and laughing at it. Uh, we find out quite pretty early on in the film that the cabin in the woods and the whole woods and that are just like, you know, this secret organisation that have created this whole thing. The whole cabin in the woods and the whole machinery and monsters and everything um, as part of something which at first you don't find out or understand. But... Um, you know, throughout the film, we start to understand it. There's like, you know, five group of friends. One's like a jock. He's athletic, played by Chris Hemsworth. The other, his girlfriend, is a whore. Um, and then we get, um, you know, we get like the smart one, the scholar. We get the stonehead, who was like a bit of a fool, an idiot. And then we get Kristen Connolly, who is like said to be the final girl. So, um,. And she is a virgin. So basically, we find out towards the end of this film that this whole thing has been set up for years, for centuries, because they find out that they are actually part of a ritual sacrifice. And the stoner guy and Kristen Connolly, they discover that you know they were part of it. You know, uh, it, the sacrifice is required: a whore, an athlete, a scholar, a fool, and a virgin. And if they didn't do these sacrifices, these ancient gods would come and take back the earth and the world would end. And that's what Sigourney Weaver explains in the film towards the end. And that has a cameo from her as well, Sigourney Weaver. Um, and that. So basically, monsters are get unleashed to kill these youngsters every so often. Uh, and that and that's why they do it um, so yeah let's get on to the likes and the dislikes so what I liked about this film well I liked the sort of originality to it well the format the, the summary of the film isn't quite original with the cliches and the cabin but how it operates I've kind of found a bit original you know how they contain every monster not just redneck zombies that we find out uh, go and attack them in the cabin but um, you know we have like we have various monsters like um, you know a hell lord which is like a cenobite we have unicorns we have mermen we have werewolves we have sugar plum fairies pretty much a cavalcade of monsters in this when they escape and unleash hell in the institution underneath the ground and everything that operate the whole woods and that um, so yeah I liked that I also like the comedy in this because this is a comedy horror after all I like the comedy like Richard Jenkins' character when he gets all stressed out going no fuck you fuck you you know that he's saying to like the Japanese girls that scare away the evil Japanese ghost and um, you know how you know these group of kids aren't as dumb as they think they are every time you know they you know, they actually find, you know, the final girl and the final two find out what's going on. And rather than sacrifice themselves and have them do it every, like, so often to others, they thought, you know what, fuck it, let's let's have the world end. And that's what happens, the world ends. Uh, so, I kind of didn't like the ending, how it ended. Well, I don't know, I just didn't like how, you know, how we didn't get to see these gods. And that, and what their intentions were. Well, that's, I guess that's the mystery of the film. Um, 
yeah, um, I like the comedy in this. Uh, my dislikes are how how they had so much, you know, slapstick and like and that to you know all the silliness and that. I, I didn't like it when it got a bit too silly, but it, it, it soon redeemed itself. I think uh, this film's just you know out. Uh, this I would yeah. This film was, you know, put on hold for a few years. I mean, it was written or what have you, and they got put on the shelves for a number of years until, like, 2012, which was the year the Earth was predicted to end. I thought this will be a good time to bring it out then, so they did. Um, yeah, I thought the film was funny. It was witty and that. Um, a few errors and that in there, but nothing I can complain about too much. And... You know, I, I like a lot of Joss Whedon's, Whedon's work, you know, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer to The Avengers to Firefly and that. Yeah, he does uh, a lot of cool stuff, um, that guy. Uh, yeah, so let's just get on to my final thoughts and rings because I'm just rambling on now. I'm trying to think of things to like and dislike about it. So I thought this was a good apocalyptic horror because it did turn into an apocalypse at the end. Uh, it was, um, you know, a good film. Not brilliant, but good. It was fun. It's definitely a fun film to watch, like be a pizza popcorn kind of film. Um, yeah, so... Do I recommend this? Yeah, but watch it with your buddies, though. Um, I enjoyed the film. I enjoyed, like, our final girl and Chris Hemsworth. To me, he will always be Thor. And that. So, yeah, so... Uh, with all that being said, I'm going to give The Cabin in the Woods, I'll probably give this a 3 out of 5, 3 machetes out of 5. So that has been my uh, re revolting review on The Cabin in the Woods. Have you seen this? I'm probably, you probably have, so let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, are all linked down below. So, until next time, don't have nightmares.